Hey family, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you are new here, if this is your first time seeing me, my name is Millie. I am a teacher and revelator of God's word. I am also a life coach and mentor who is here to help motivate you, to usher you into God's greatness for your life, which is your destiny and your purpose, okay? And so I do that through revelatory words, also prophetic rhema, from God's word or just life experiences that God has brought me through. And he's using me to uh, reach back in and to pull up those of you who he is taking to a higher level, you know, and uh, to help coach you through the things that you're going through that I've already been through, right? So that's what a life coach is. That's what a mentor is. And so he's just recently revealed this to me, no more hiding. Those of you who have been, you know, chugging along, this is sounding new to you because there's no more hiding for us. The spotlight is on his people who he is bringing up. And this is what today's message is about, okay? And so God is going to make your name great. I am so excited to bring this message, you guys, because it's such an imperative time for us to continue to walk with the Lord, to continue to do what it is that he's showing us to build. It is kingdom time. It is kingdom time, whether that be in your life, getting that in order and alignment through um, relationships, you know, getting that stuff in order, also in business and career and so on, okay? Everything in your life, every aspect of your life has to be kingdom. Come on, Holy Spirit. So, no more hiding. The spotlight is on you. You're coming out from the backside of the mountain. So I'm going to share with you guys just what God revealed to me. And I know it's going to be a blessing to many and confirmation to many. So God has um, moved most of you into a larger territory, okay? He's moved you, meaning physically, out of the place that you were in because it was stunting your growth. You've also done a lot of work in this time internally. God has um, you've allowed him to come in and work on you and prune you um, in this move, okay? And for some of you who have just moved, God is about to take you through the process. You have to be stretched, okay? And so God is moving you to actualize to your greatness, just as he told Abram to move, to show him that he was the father of many nations, which was his promise. So it is with you when you get to your promised land, your um spiritual Canaan in the sense, even though that may be, you know, named a, a different place naturally. Like for me, it's Dallas. That's my spiritual Canaan. Okay. And so you've been moved for your purpose because your purpose is to be in the spotlight because your name is going to be great. Hallelujah. So God has already told you that he's going to make your name great for most of you. He's been revealing this to you. And for some of you, um, he's about to show you this because you've been asking, well, why do I have to move? Why did I have to leave all of this stuff behind? God, what are you doing? Right. And so he's going to show you that the purpose is a bigger is It is bigger than you. It's bigger than you. It's not about you. It's for his kingdom. It's for his people. What you've been through in your life was not just for you. It was to build you up to to make you into who God is bringing you out to be. Okay? Hallelujah. I hope that makes sense. So again, some of you are about to find out who you are in this move. You weren't able to be yourself where you were because you're again, your growth was being stunted in the place you were. It was like crabs in the barrel. It was a toiling and a striving and never being able to get ahead and always looked over and behind, just like David, okay? Always looked over, always in the back, not wanting the spotlight, but you're called for it. Hallelujah. Let me keep going here. So God is doing this on different levels for his children as well, uh, as far as making our names great. The Lord will cause the world to know some of you. For some of you, it's going to be on a national level, like within our country. And then for some of you, you're just going to be on the local scale. Okay? Hallelujah. And so this fame that you're going to have, whatever level of influence that God is going to use you in, it's not going to be like the fame that the world gives. Okay? 
Jesus does not give as the world gives. So the blessing of the Lord makes rich and he adds no sorrow to it. That's what it means, right? That he doesn't give like the world. When we do it the world's way, there's sorrow, there's toiling, it's hardship, it's, you know, it's too much, right? And so therefore, if you stick to the way that God is showing you to build this new thing that he's um, already told you to build, and, and most of you are already in that and you're doing it, for me, it's this ministry, right? And so for some of you, whatever that is, you're already building it, do it his way. Build it the way he tells you to build it. This way you won't experience the trials that the world goes through to maintain fame. This is what the world does. They sell their, themselves, they sell their souls to maintain this fame and this image. And, you know, uh, most of them that have done this, they are crying to get out, right? And some of them dying, my God. But when you do it God's way, this is the only way that the fame, if you will, will be sustained. You have to do it his way and he will not add sorrow to it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So this is why the pruning process has been so strenuous for you, those of you who are at this, this point where you're coming out and the spotlight is on you now and you know this, okay? You know this, you've started your YouTube, you've started the new business, you've um, done what God told you to do, okay? You've went back to school, whatever it is that God is doing uh, to prepare you for the new thing, you're doing it. You've either started it or you're in preparation. But this pruning process, this is why it has been so strenuous because God wants to be sure that your heart is with him, that he has your heart because where he is taking you is going to require your integrity to him and to his kingdom, okay? So you have to be anchored in God on the rock. This is why building your foundation right now is so important, okay? It's so important that you build it his way so that it stands, so that it remains, so that it is sustained. So he's also been teaching you, and you've gotten this, right? You know his voice. So he's been teaching you that so that you can make decisions that will be uh, required on each level, all right? So again, this is why you've been hidden on the backside of the mountain in preparation to, to come out so that you know how to act when you come out, so that you won't be easily fooled, so that the money won't move you, okay? So that you won't sell your soul. Come on. My God, just like Paul says, I, I've learned how it is to be with little and with much. And I'm paraphrasing, okay? But in all things, I know through Christ, he strengthens me, right? Come on. This is what this is. Thank you, Lord. So God is raising up people who never wanted to be in the front. As I mentioned before, you've never wanted to be in the front. You are the background to the background, okay? But God is like, no, that's really not you. Like you've been in that place. I've, I've cultivated you to stay in that place because I've been working on your heart your whole life for this moment that you're about to come into, the spotlight moment. Come on, Holy Spirit. Thank you. So you never wanted to be in the front. This is why he's putting you in the front because he can trust you in the front. My God, uh, you will supersede the ones who always wanted to be in the front. You'll supersede them. God is shaking everything that can be shaken and he is pulling down those who are not serious about doing it his way. This is the Ishmael Isaac situation, okay? People are building Ishmael. Yeah, he'll bless it, but it's not going to be blessed like Isaac. Come on. Like the promise. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So what he has done, he has made your spirit rich first. Okay? So some of you, again, you've always been like this with a rich spirit. So even as you go through this pruning and stretching process to come into the spotlight, he's just making your spirit even more like gold. Okay? I'm telling you. Nobody's going to be able to get nothing over on you because you don't care about the stuff. All right. What you care about is God's kingdom. That's your passion and what it is that he wants you to do. 
And this is why he is blessing you so. This is why your name is about to be great and you're about to be known. Hallelujah. It's already started. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So again, the material blessings, even though you don't care about them, they're coming. They're about to overtake you. Things you didn't even know that you thought you wanted, you are going to have them. Okay, so it's like your level of exposure. God is about to broaden to things and it's not going to be in a greedy sense because you'll give it all away. Right. But God is just saying, oh, access to my kingdom. The, the windows of heaven are open over you. So the blessings are about to bust you in your head. Okay. Everything that you ever wanted. Simple stuff like having your whole outfit match. You know, stuff like that. Like, you're going to, it's no problem. Okay? Hallelujah. So, God is raising his people up in secular positions for kingdom influence. So, some of your names are going to be great and known worldwide and nationally in secular things. But you are kingdom. So, you're bringing the kingdom influence into those spheres, right? Thank you, Lord. So God is doing a new thing. This is why he's putting his people and raising his people up in these high positions to have the spotlight on us and, and not to be in hiding anymore and to have our names known so that we can uh, influence those fears with his kingdom. So that his kingdom will be established here on earth. So that is what God is doing. Hallelujah. He's, we're, I've said this many times. We are here working and ushering in the second coming of Christ. Hallelujah. So this is why we're infiltrating what the world has pretty much corrupted. God is making it new. He's resetting it and he's, his will is going to come to pass. Hallelujah. This is why the kingdom of God matters. Hallelujah. Not the kingdom of this world. Thank you, Lord. So some of you will be presented, all of us really, will be presented with opportunities that suggest for us to bow down to Baal. But your rejection is where you'll give God glory and lead others to Christ. So when you reject what the world tries to, to send you or offer you wherever you are, you know, in this sphere of influence, and this includes ministry, the music industry, Hollywood, whatever it is, okay? Your rejection to Baal is going to bring God the glory and lead others to Christ. This is the great awakening. This is the revival. It's happening everywhere, not just traditionally of what you would think behind the four walls of the church or in the corner evangelizing, okay? God is setting up shop everywhere. He is infiltrating everything hallelujah he loves us so much he loves us so much that he, whew, that he's going to use his people to infiltrate these wicked industries in order to save the one sheep that got away from the 99 come on get on board hallelujah it's just not about your name being great okay it's all it's a it's bigger than you even though your name is going to be great. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So in rejecting what Baal is going to try to present to you, this carrot he's going to try to dangle over your face or in your face to get you to take a bite of, when you reject that, it stores up an inheritance for you in heaven, in eternity which is going to be greater than anything that you're going to see on this earth that God is about to bless you with. So we know that our works follow us in heaven, right? We're not working towards things that, that pass away or that um, rust out, you know, or that gets eaten up or that dies. You know, we're laying up treasures in heaven, in our eternal home. So this is what this is about. Hallelujah. So God has already been testing some of you in this little by little. As he's been bringing you into the new thing, he's been putting opportunities in front of you and even the devil presenting you with opportunities. And God has just been saying, no, turn this down. Don't do that. No, stick with the plan. 
He's been ushering you and leading you by his Holy Spirit. And you've been obedient and God is going to bless you. He is about to bless you for it. You have not lacked anything. Even if your bank account is not where you naturally want to see it yet, you better know that it's on full and overflow in heaven. And it's about to bust you in your head in the mighty name of Jesus. Stand firm. Continue to do what it is that God is showing you to do. Hallelujah. So you've been passing those little tests of your faith. By saying, no, I'm not going to do this. No, my father doesn't want me doing this. Uh-uh, I'm not going there. Continue on with that, right? Hallelujah. So everything that you have left behind for the kingdom, just know it has been recorded in the books in heaven. In your book, everybody has a record in the courts of heaven. God is the judge. What do you think he's judging? Come on. Again, our works follow us. So when God wants to get you to a place, again, where the money does not move you and where you're moved by the salvation of souls, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Matthew 6, is what I'm talking about here, okay? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So I can just testify for me, even in my own life, and for those of you who have been following along and know parts of my journey that I have shared and God just bringing me out of, um, you know, out of what I was doing as far as work and into full-time ministry, right? And so this is just happening for me where I don't even realize, even though a lot of you are coming back testifying and, you know, I, I understand what's going on, but I don't realize the, the magnitude of the impact that I'm having on people because I, a part of me is still seeing myself as, I don't want to come out here, Lord. Like, I know you told me you're about to make my name great. You told me this. Like, I know. But I'm just, you know, I don't want to be out here. Like, I've even cried about this, you guys. I even asked the Lord, no, like, just let me continue on in my eyelash business. I know you'll make it great, which would be, it would that would have turned into an Ishmael, even though God told me to start that business four years ago, and he's phasing it out, and it's almost done. OK, but for me to continue on in that would be disobedience and it would be an Ishmael. It wouldn't be God's best. I wouldn't be as fulfilled as I feel right now doing what I know I'm called to do full time, which is ministry. OK, so I hope that makes sense for you guys. So I haven't realized the magnitude of the impact that I am having on others. And I still didn't realize this. And I want to share this with you guys maybe a couple of weeks ago. I was out and about at a local carnival around here and a girl came up to me and she was just like, oh my God, do you have a YouTube channel? And I'm looking all crazy like, uh, yeah, like forgetting that like this is what I do, right? And so she was just so excited to meet me and she said, I literally, me and my husband literally just finished watching one of your videos and as I was getting ready to come to this carnival, the Lord was telling me that I would meet you today. And here you are. And it just took me by surprise. And my friend that I was with, she was just like, oh, my God, Millie. So, you know, I gave her a hug and we, you know, talked a little bit. But I still don't realize this. Like, I don't look at myself as, you know, this public figure or anything like that. And I want to say that this is um, a sense of humility. I'm not humble to say, you know, uh, to where it's like going to affect me to where I'm not going to work and do what I need to do. But I'm, I'm humble enough to say, okay, yeah, I know I'm doing this. I haven't really realized, you know, the impact yet, but I want to stay in this place of humility, if that makes sense. I'm a person just like you guys. And if I could just be quite frank, I pee pee and boo boo, just like y'all. Okay. And everybody else that's a human being, right? So not to just think, too highly of myself is what I'm saying, okay? Hallelujah. I hope that makes sense. My God. So, and I was telling you guys I was crying about this, about this coming out in the spotlight. And some of you don't want it either. Some of you don't want, you like your privacy, okay? You like, you know, just doing what you're doing, being in the back, but you're not a background person. All this time, you are not a background person. This is what God is showing you. And I was telling you guys, I was crying because of this, because of this high place that I know God is taking me to because it comes with many challenges and many persecutions. But it must be done 
for the kingdom, just as Jesus had to go to the cross for us. And he cried out. What was that the night before? Asking God to, okay, wait a minute now. Please take this cup from me. Like, really? He was saying, do I have to do this? And God was like, yeah. He was like, well, your will be done. I will do it. That's how we have to be. Thank God we don't have to go to the cross. Hallelujah. But we still have to do our part and what it is that God is calling us to do. Hallelujah. So I'm going to leave you guys with this scripture, Genesis 12, 1 through 3, where God told Abraham, I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and whoever curses you, I will curse and all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. And so it is with you. So even though the persecutions are going to come, anybody who curses you, God is going to deal with them. And you're going to, and whoever you bless, you're going to be blessed to be a blessing. Okay. Hallelujah. And your name is going to be great in the sphere of influence that God is placing you in. So no more hiding. It is time to come out. The spotlight is on you. Your name will be great in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that this message has been confirmation for you, that it has uh, shed some light on the confusion that you're feeling in this move and the shift in this new thing that God is doing. Hallelujah. And I just pray that you all just stay with the Lord and stay um, in your plan and in his plan rather and purpose for your life and, and do things the way that he's showing you to do it. Go where he says go. You will not fail. He will be there with you every step of the way. So be encouraged in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you guys. Most importantly, Jesus loves you and I'll talk to you soon.